And we are up uh, here today, and I think part of this rally, part of it, you can uh, attribute to the CPI. The core CPI, let's take a look at the futures. The core CPI was a miss this morning, uh, and I think a lot of people were positioned for a beat, uh, stronger numbers, after what happened with the PPI yesterday. Uh, and it's hard to see there, but at 8.30, uh, we saw stocks, uh, futures move to the upside. We saw bond yields move to the downside. Uh, dollar moved a little bit to the downside, and I think that was in reaction to the core CPI miss. So a little bit of a boost there. So yesterday, if you look at the sectors, we had banks up and we had technology to the downside. That is reversed a little bit today. Again, a little, this may be a little bit on the CPI numbers here. Bond yields down. Banks are a little bit weaker, but tech is back. Semiconductors are leading. Tech overall uh, is leading the market. And the retail, that, that XRT, the, the Energizer Bunny, it just keeps going and going. Uh, here. Rather remarkable to see retail continuing to perform well into December. That's historically not the case, but <laughs> this year a lot of things that are never happened have happened. Let's take a look at the uh, cryptocurrency <laughs> issues of Bitcoin, of course. Uh, volumes here fair, uh, but it's been really flattened out. If you look at the Bitcoin futures around the 18,000 level, not nearly as volatile. So, so far, the Bitcoin futures really are creating uh, lower levels of volatility, even for the cash markets that we've seen, at least for Bitcoin itself. Uh, these alt cryptocurrencies like Litecoin, we spent a lot of time talking about yesterday. Uh, and if you're confused by that, uh, a lot of people are, but don't worry, there are investment funds popping up uh, to invest in cryptocurrencies in general. Uh, so if you don't know which ones to invest in, there'll be funds out there. There was one yesterday that was started, Hold10. Uh, they're investing in the 10 largest cryptocurrencies. You can buy into this, but they're only taking accredited investors, a way of saying uh, they're going to be cautious about who they take. They only raised $4 million on the first day, but it's a start. The point is you're going to be able to buy in. You don't know what you want. You can buy into these, uh, these different funds are out there. I'm sure there'll be many, many more cryptocurrency index funds that are going to be out there somewhere. Uh, also, we tend to act like the U.S. is the center of the Bitcoin universe, and it's not. Uh, if you really look at the action, uh, the volume by currencies uh, in the, just the last month, it's really uh, over in Asia. Japan is the, far and away the largest. Uh, the U.S. is 34 percent, but that's only in the last month. Uh, it was much, much smaller for the U.S. in earlier parts uh, of the year. South Korea was a big player. Uh, Vietnam is 2 or 3 percent of the trading. Europe is 4 percent. The other uh, rest of the world, about 10 percent. So those of you who are thinking we're the center, uh, we're not. It's really over in Asia. Right now, the Dow's sitting near the highs of the day, up 60 points. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.